Hey guys, welcome to another Facebook Live. I wanted to discuss today a couple of questions that we get actually asked regularly, um, Daniel and myself, and that's about uh, healthy eating practices to be able to support a busy lifestyle as a dad. And I always like to really drill down on the simple, the most simple, lowest hanging fruits uh, so to speak, when it comes to this. So uh, the, the two main things I want to explore today is um, repetition. Uh, and if you're a personality type, and for me, it really just comes down to through coaching numerous dads over the years, it, it drills down to what each individual personality responds well to. So what I've found is a lot of dads really are quite okay. In fact, they find uh, a certain aspect of uh, security in eating the same things quite regularly. So if you are one of those people, just make a massive batch of the same thing. But the key is within that, that batch of uh, food, make sure you've got all your, um, your nutrients taken care of. Like for example, having a, a tuna salad, let's just call it, make sure that you've got all your fats, you've got your macros taken care of, and you can make an enormous batch of tuna salad or chicken salad or um, whatever it might be in order that you take care of all the plethora and the varieties of vegetables that you want to be able to take uh, into your system. And then you repeat that over and over again. And somehow the, the actual um, repetition doesn't matter because you, you, you've got the variety within the one meal. So that's a, that's a really, really powerful um, way to just go about it if you're somebody that can respond uh, powerfully to be able to eat the same thing over and over and over again. Uh, another really great tool that I've used to serve myself and my family in the past is being able to make enough food at dinner time to be able to uh, have it the next day for lunch. Um, so if you're somebody that wants a variety in their um, day or their, their week uh, nutritionally, just make sure that let's say you're having roast, roast vegetables and uh, chicken breast uh, at night time. Uh, one night you make enough so you can have it for lunch the next day. And then you're going to rotate your proteins. You're going to rotate uh, various different uh, nutritional foods that, that can serve you throughout the week. But if that's the case and, and you adopt to this methodology, then there's no need to be able to think about lunch as a separate meal to dinner. You're really just repeating your, um, your, your meal for dinner the next day for lunch. Um, these are two really simple but really effective uh, strategies that have helped me personally in the past, and I hope they've helped you as well. If you guys have any uh, strategies that have helped you in the past when it comes to foods, by all means, let us know. Hope this helped.